Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web. And today we're gonna uncreate the LS2 Advent X. What's up, Speed Addicts fam? Before we jump in and break down this LS2 Advent X, do us both a favor, subscribe to that Speed Addicts channel. That way you do not miss out on any of the latest parts or gear reviews coming your way. Speed Addicts, always getting first look for you. Subscribe and don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to purchase one of the helmets we're gonna talk about in the video today and support us here at speedaddicts.com at the same time, we would appreciate that. There's a link in the description below. They'll get you right over to the Advent X at speedaddicts.com. And while you're over there, feel free to shop for any other parts or gear you might need for your next two wheel adventure. Okay, we have the future of modular flip up 180 degree modular helmets, shall we say. These are modular helmets that not only have a chin bar that rises to that nine degree point, it's gonna flip all the way into the back of the helmet. This is the next generation from LS2. It is called the Advent X. On the table, we have the Advent X in front of me. We have the Advent X carbon to my left, and we have the base Advent over here to my right. Where we're gonna be focusing on the Advent X helmets today the advent base model will be used as a comparison a little bit later we also have a full breakdown on the slightly less expensive version of the advent uh, in the description below if you're interested in that one okay so onward this format this is the successor to the very popular ls2 valiant series so they had the valiant and the valiant 2 uh, some of the most popular helmets in that ls2 franchise over a number of years we've sold a lot of those very well received because they give you that versatility right um, instead of having this weird center of gravity, having that chin bar stuck up here and dragging on the air, being all wobbly, if you want to ride in the open face position, you're going through town, you're moving slower, or you just want the breeze in your face, you are able to do so on these types of LS2 uh, helmets here with that chin bar that moves all the way out of the way. The Advent X is the higher tier helmet compared to that base Advent and what you're getting for the extra money. Number one, uh, a composite shell. You're either gonna get the composite version in titanium black or white, or you move up to the full carbon fiber version. The base Advent, or sorry, the Advent X in this composite is gonna run you $399. In the carbon, it's gonna be $100 extra at $499. So yes, you are getting a carbon fiber modular helmet with the dark smoke shield included. The Advent X also gives you the dark smoke shield uh, included for $499 or $399, it's a pretty stellar value, which is always what LS2 comes to market with. They're not going to match the other guys. They're gonna to try to undercut them on price and over deliver on the feature set and actually what you're getting in the box. Now let's talk about weight. One of the things that you're gonna save on the Advent X when you spend that extra money over the base Advent is weight. The base Advent's gonna come in at four pounds, whereas the Advent X in the composite is gonna be 3.75. So that's a quarter pound, making it relatively lightweight for a modular helmet. Again, modular helmet's not always the lightest because you're getting that um, all the gear that's required to move the chin bar up out of the way. You've got the drop down interior sun visor and thus added weight over a traditional full face helmet. Now we did expect the carbon fiber to weigh a little bit less. That's how it was advertised, but the scales at Speed Addicts don't lie. It's actually coming in at the same exact weight as the composite. Why that is? Well, we've asked LS2, we're waiting to hear back on exactly what's going on there, but suffice to say, both lightweight and a quarter pound lighter than that four pound, which is what a lot of the modular helmets weigh, uh, base Advent model. So if you want a little less weight, go with the Advent X or the Advent X Carbon if you want that full carbon fiber shell. And essentially the feature set's gonna be identical between these. You're just gonna get that carbon shell, which is a nice look. Again, we were just hoping it was gonna be a little bit lighter. Okay, let's talk about homologations when it comes to safety. You're gonna get DOT, of course. So DOT certified. Let's put this chin bar down real quick. In addition to that, you are getting the latest certification out of Europe. It is the ECE 2206 homologation which is the new and improved version of the ECE rating, replacing ECE 2205. Now, the cool thing about ECE 226 is that it has four drop tests in their testing regimen as opposed to their previous test, which was a single drop test. The result of all this is hopefully pushing manufacturers to design safer helmets 
The additional drive test included a low velocity, a high velocity, and a rotational energy management test as um, opposed to that, again, that single drop test from 2205. You're going to see a lot more helmet manufacturers rolling out the, the new, um, new helmets with this EC2206. Definitely something to look for and hopefully delivering you a safer helmet. This helmet is rated both in the fully closed position, crash tested in the fully closed position for the ECE standards and in the fully open position. They call that P&J testing. That means that it's past those safety specs in both positions. So you are welcome to ride with the chin bar in both positions, which of course is kind of the point of this helmet. Again, you're not gonna get that same level of safety with the chin bar out of the way. That kind of goes without saying. When it comes to comm systems, this is ready for the forthcoming uh, new LS2 comm system that is gonna be made by Cardo. We're very excited about that. When we open this helmet up, you're going to see that there is a pocket back here under the neck roll to receive that new unit. It is going to be a very nicely integrated and stealth install on that Cardo comm. We don't have any details about that yet. We assume it's going to be labeled um, under the LS2 brand name, but really we have no specs. We have no information at this point that should be coming later this year. And when it does, we will update you. But is comm systems ready? Now, what everyone always asks with these integrated comm systems, can I use a universal comm? Well, on the base advent, it is actually quite easy because you're going to see this surface area right here where you're gonna mount that comm. Very smooth. There's no molding or edges to get in your way. You're easily gonna be able to slap on an adhesive mount, no problem. On the Advent X, you do have to contend with this molding. So you're gonna have to get a little bit more creative or go with the clip mount a little further back. You can get that in there, but it's not quite as easy of an install as we would have hoped uh, for that universal comm. The base Advent is a bit easier if you already have your favorite comm system. You don't want any drama. Maybe go with the, the base Advent there. Two shell sizes, intermediate oval fit. We found all these helmets to fit the same as well as very similar to other LS2 brands and just the overall true LS2 fitment, usually no problems, right? You go to uh, buy that LS2 sizing chart at Speed Addicts and you should really be in great shape. One thing about the cheek pads from the factory, they are nice and snug. That's how you're gonna want them to fit if you can stand it. We always recommend folks trying on the helmet in their living room for at least 20, 30 minutes. See if they have any hot spots as snug as you can stand it without causing discomfort. Now, if you get an LS2 Advent X, cheek pads are too firm or just too thick, they do have thinner cheek pads available and we can assist you with that process and custom fitting your new Advent helmet. Just call the folks here at Rider Support and they'll get you set up. As far as sizes go, you're gonna see extra small all the way up for, to, through three extra large. So they run the gambit of sizes. Most folks should be able to climb into an Advent. No problem. Remember, if you buy your helmet with Speed Addicts, you're gonna get no cost returns. We know you don't always get it right the first time. In case you don't, you're gonna get a free return label in just a few clicks. As long as you live in lower 48 states and the helmet's brand new in the original condition, give us a shot, no cost returns. We make it real easy and we're gonna treat you like family. Okay, let's look at the styling. I'm gonna bring over the base advent so that you can see the difference here. So let's set them maybe more like that. So clearly Advent X, more futuristic, more stealth, more aggressive in pretty much every way. If you're looking for a little bit more profile, low profile look, I really do like this base advent helmet. It's got kind of a more swoopy classic design, nice and rounded, uh, nothing too fancy going on here. Just nice clean lines. On the Advent X, you are getting that stealth bomber look. You are getting mirrored accents up here on the top on this vent here, which is really an awesome design. You get a little bit more accent down here and on the side. So they're going with a little bit of a smoked mirror look in addition to just really killer lines. They've got this uh, honeycomb pattern or maybe kind of a great look. The helmet looks great, right guys? It's great and it has greats or mesh honeycomb here. I like this vent. We're gonna show you this in more detail in a second. Uh, and then down below, they kind of finish with that theme. The carbon fiber, let's pull this over here and take a look. Again, same exact moldings. They just backed off on the accent. So they stealthed out this pivot kit. You don't have the mirrored accent up here on the top. Again, both the Advent X and Advent X Carbon are gonna include the smoke shield. We just went ahead and installed it on the carbon because it does look really bitching with that. Okay, let's get back and start at the top here. The aerodynamics are improved over the base Advent because of this, this fin here on the back. 
and some of the other air work on this helmet. It is supposed to direct the airflow and clean it up a little bit, less buffeting, hopefully less noise on the road. The ventilation system, from the inside out, the EPS ports and channels are all actually identical. The exterior vents are a little bit different, but we don't expect them to really perform any differently. It's more of a styling thing. I do like this top vent, it is really cool. It's kind of like a stingray design. And this whole section moves back and forth to open or close the ventilation. And the mirrored touch is not bad either. This is gonna look the same on the white and on the black helmets as well. It's a good look. When you look at the holes, they line up with these big ducts on the inside of the EPS that we'll show you in a minute. So plenty of airflow. Down below, you've got that mirrored switch down here to open and close the chin bar vent. No surprises here. One thing that is different on the Advent X compared to this base Advent is that you can switch off this rear vent. You can't see it, it doesn't look like it on camera, but I, pro I promise you this does switch it on and off. So if you're running in cold weather, the Advent's gonna, Advent X is gonna be your pick because you can totally shut off that ventilation system, which is nice in those cooler temps. Again, all these lines, a lot going on here. Very cool looking lid. Talk about the face shield. Face shield on the Advent X has this, the <laughs> your option. You can try to grab it down here, which is kind of awkward. Really what they have is this lift or the, the tab for your finger up here on the top. You can hit it with your thumb when the helmet's on your head to move this up out of the way. Kind of an interesting location. You're gonna have to retrain your brain uh, to know where to reach unless you actually have a Valiant 2. Uh, if you have a Valiant 2, it's in the same spot and you will remember right where it is. Base Advent over here. They went with kind of more of the center piece, center punch, so the face shields are a little different in that regard. They are pin lock prep. They are UV blocking, scratch resistant. They don't have an anti-fog coating. Instead, they are relying on their included pin lock insert. So you're gonna get the pin lock insert with every Advent X, carbon or non-carbon. You're gonna install that pin lock insert on the inside of your face shield. And both the dark smoke and the clear shield that are included with these helmets are pin lock prep. And yes, you can move the pin lock visor between, or the pin lock insert between them to reduce or mitigate fog. Or if you're really gonna go back and forth a lot, just buy another one of these. Inside of the pin lock insert, they're including an inflatable helmet donut. So cool, I know you guys always see my helmet donuts and you want one, now's your chance. <clears throat> so that covers the face shield here. Face shield changes on the Advent series are very simple. You're just gonna go ahead, there's a little tab right here. You're gonna grab that with your, your thumb, pull it away, and you're out. Very fast, very easy switches, and I'm probably gonna goof it up because I'm on camera right there, but that's all it is. It's very unique design, the way they've done this kind of flat plate system. And I'm gonna drop this back into place. So if you wanna cruise with your, uh, your dark smoke, you can grab that and bring it along for the ride but you don't really need to because you have that smoked drop down internal sun visor that is going to be controlled over here on your bottom left edge. The, face, or the internal shield and the mechanism are identical on both these helmets. Smooth action. Remember LS2 is backing up this helmet for five years from the purchase date. So pretty much the entire useful life of the helmet you will be covered, which I love to see on a helmet with so many moving parts and stuff going on. I'd like to know that they're gonna back us up there. That does it for that face shield. Now, if we're gonna use the uh, the chin bar, there's a button down at the bottom. You're gonna go ahead and lift that up. Uh, chin bar is gonna come whoop, up and over. So this is an improved mechanism over that Valiant series, which kind of had a hitch in its giddy up. It was kind of a cantilever setup, whereas this is one smooth uh, circular motion, both forwards and backwards. Just little things, slight improvements here. Let's button that down. I also like that they have easy access to this pivot should you have to have some sort of warranty service or take this off. It's a lot more accessible than the old Valiant too because they have these hex screws right here um, installed for that purpose. Okay, let's flip this helmet over and show you what we're working with on the inside of the Advent X. And maybe if I can compare it real quick to the base Advent. So this is what the, uh, the neck rolls look like. Materials being used here, very similar. They both have reflective patches along the neck roll, but they've put a little bit of spice on the Advent X, giving you kind of these, this billowed look, these extra pillows and creases, which looks cool. The interior comfort liner, again, pretty much the same stuff, just kind of cut in a different pattern. So there's not a huge reason to jump between the two from that standpoint. 
really it's gonna come down to the quarter pound weight savings and, uh, and just the look of the helmets. If you're deciding whether or not to go with the base advent, you know, that's gonna be the thing because this is polycarbonate, whereas these are composite or fiberglass or um, fiberglass or carbon fiber, right? And the price difference really isn't that big. We're talking around $40 or so. I really think that might change down the road. They might decide to put a bigger gap between these. I didn't really make a lot of sense. I think most people are gonna go, unless they like the more low key styling, I think most folks are going to step up to the Advent X. Okay, back to the interior. Same quick release chin strap here in both of the helmets. They have their magnet, magnetized little pull. You're gonna lift that up, snap yourself out of this helmet. Cheek pads and the neck roll, all one in the same here. This is one big happy family that we're gonna remove from the helmet. You notice quick release chin straps or quick release cheek, cheek pads and neck roll system. If EMS has to slide this out of the way to get you out of the helmet, in case of an emergency, they will be able to do so. Moisture wicking, antimicrobial, everything you'd expect in a helmet of this price range. The cheek pads improved over the Valiant 2. These are much more comfortable. They have the micro suede instead of just that kind of neoprene material. Nice, nice place to be. They're more robust. The Valiant 2s were just not quite as comfy or as uh, molded to your face. I don't know if you can get that contour. Just a nice, very nice um, design contour on this that hugs your face very well. Okay, with that out of the way, you'll notice we have speaker pockets. You can hijack those for your universal comm kit should you choose to. Whoops. I just can't get in there in the right direction. There's the, the speaker pockets. You can use that with your own comm system if you want to, Senna, Cardo, Euclear, whatever you want to do. Remember, down the road, you're going to have an integrated option from LS2 made by Cardo that is going to slip in the back. And they put this tiny little piece of EPS in here as a placeholder. <clears throat> Let's get that out of the way. That's the pocket. That's where the brains are going to go. And then on the back of this neck roll, I noticed they also have this little uh, this little bungee strap that's going to help route the wires and kind of get you all dialed in for their integrated comm system. Let's get the neck or the uh, comfort liner out of the way. Whoops. You notice this little fin with the, the grids here. Again, that's about airflow and directing the airflow, cleaning up that situation. Let's pull this out of the way we will show you the 3d laser cut comfort liner again a little bit of different design than the base advent but really it's the same stuff there we go we'll move that out of the way with that out of the way you can see the absolutely massive ducts here it's going to ram a lot of that air right into your temple and keep you cool the channeling routes it all over the back of the helmet and then you have the exhaust ports back there multi-density eps liner of course five-year warranty from LS2. We'll buckle this back up. So like I was saying, I think most folks are really gonna decide to go with this Advent X. It's really not that much more expensive. Um, every one of them comes with that smoked visor like you're seeing over here to my left on the carbon. And it's got, whoops, it's a quarter pound lighter. Whoops. And it's got just a really cool, aggressive, new generation look to it. It's stealthy. It's the Advent X. That does it, folks. If you still got questions, don't worry. Rider Support is standing by at speedax.com where you can always talk to a human over there over the phone, emails, or live chats. If you have an Advent X already, you're a quick adopter, or you have one in the future, drop us a line down here in the comment section below. Let us all know how you like it. That does it for today. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.